with you, I wouldn't lie to you I'm the truth, you're my full mouth, side mouth, one deal I wanna take you, controlled by the rest We can go rounds, three, four, five, six in the clinch Yeah, we in the clinch, baby Best believe, believe me, we in the clinch You are not, you are not We in the clinch, baby Say what you say Mr. Grinch, <laughs> up off, Nat. Hold on, can you guys hear me? <laughs> Let me know if you guys can hear me because I couldn't hear nothing <laughs> when I was testing everything. Can you hear me? Let me know. Give me a yes or no. Give me a because I couldn't hear Jack. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Can you hear me just fine? Yeah, yeah, yes, I can hear. You. Okay, up off. Nat, ho, 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 what's up, my people? This is Sean Biz, the adult, all right, man, look, look, look at who we have here. First, oh, who do we have up here? Tiz, uh, what's going on with you? Justin Ara. What's going on with you? Uh, 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 whoops. All right, man. Look, first, first, I want to say this. Show biz the calls. <laughs> hey, uh, I want to say this first before I get into uh, what we're going our topic today. Uh, we'll be discussing a few things. We'll be discussing the breakdown uh Marcus Brown versus Arthur Better BF. And I want to say this too. I may not be on for the full hour. Something's up with my uh Something's up with my, my buffering and everything. I'll, I'll figure all this up. We, uh, I may not be on for the full hour, but I'm going to try. Okay, there's stuff I, I have to run and do. Um, So before I get into, we're going to talk about Marcus Brown versus Better BF. We're going to talk about that breakdown. Um, We're also uh going to talk about, we're also going to discuss um Arrow the True Spence a little bit. And we're also going to discuss, should Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder retire? I heard Tyson Gypsy King Fury. Uh, I heard him saying a few things about Deontay Wilder. He should retire. But if he does, it's fine. He was talking very positively about Deontay Wilder, talking about one day maybe we'll get old and look back on one of the greatest trilogies of all time. Here's a title there. Uh, so that's, that's, that's wonderful. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like for me for the one time. If you can hit the like, I know it's difficult. Close the chat, hit the like. That seems to be a very, very difficult to do, but let's see if you guys hit the like, your fingers are really like, it's better than hit the like, you know what you like. Mm. It's, it's so funny. I can't hear shit. I don't know what's going on. I couldn't even hear my song. Uh, uh, but before we get into all that, Sada Tay, what's going on with you? Uh, before we get into all that, I want you guys to check something out. Have you guys seen the ESPN pound for pound top 10 list? Have you guys seen it? Hold on one second. Let me show you guys. Uh, they just released the top 10 pound for pound. I want to ask you guys, uh, see if you guys have seen this and what you think. Okay, so here's the top 10 pound for pound. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Here it is. Um. And I, I want to know what you all think. Not yet, no. Well, here it is. Victory has defeated you. Here it is, Victory. I want to know what you guys think about this. They have Canelo Alvarez at number one. At number two, they have Terrence Bud Crawford. Naoya Inoue at three. Alexander Usyk at four. Tyson the Gypsy King Fury at five. Errol the True Spence at six. Josh Taylor at seven. Vasily Lomachenko at eight. Juan Francisco Estrada at nine. And... Tying at the 10 spot, Javante Tank Davis and George Cambosis Jr. Okay, hit the Tyson Bell. I don't like it. They trip. Yeah, I don't like it. I, re I, I don't like it. Number one, I'm going to tell you. But hold on. It's okay. It's okay. There is no, there is no pound for pound list that everybody's going to like. So it's okay. Okay. Um, why is Davis at 10? I'm not sure. I'm I wouldn't, I get him at 10. I wouldn't quite put him at my in my 10. Not quite. I will put George Cambosis over him for sure. Hit Tyson Bell. Okay? But in my book, he's undisputed. Okay, disrespectful to Clarissa Salate. I'm telling you. 
uh, I would have women in my top 10, but they're they're not ready yet. So that's okay. Okay. Um, they're not ready yet. So, and just take it in that they're only adding males to their top 10. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Josh Taylor should be higher on that list. I would remove Tyson Gypsy King Fury from that list. I would. Huh? Yeah, I said it. Okay. Beating Deontay Wilder three times. Okay. Or beating him twice in the past three years, wherever it is. For me, that's not quite enough to have him go from outside the top 10 to in the top 10. Not for me. I think Deontay Wilder is a fantastic heavyweight, uh, especially with today's heavyweights. But I wouldn't see that as make, putting Tyson Fury that high in the top 10 if you put him in there at all. Hit the Tyson bat. Okay? Um, one, another thing, another thing. Uh, I would have Usyk higher. Okay? Usyk undisputed at cruiserweight, jumping up to heavyweight becoming unified, one belt away from being undisputed at heavyweight. Hit the Tyson Bell. Not just that, he fought three times at heavyweight. So I would have Usyk if not one, two. All right? Uh, I never had a problem with Canelo Alvarez being one. Uh, I have Usyk one, or I've had Usyk one. Um, but one, two, cool. Terrence Bud Crawford at two, I would slide him down to three or four. Inoue is still that dude to me. So he would be at three or four, but I have no problem with that. Errol the True Spence, fine. Okay, but my problem is this. With Teofimo Lopez, he was ranked at, what was he ranked? Seven, eight? To have Cambosas go down, be down at 10, that's ridiculous to me. All right? I would have him higher. Uh, Estrada, I get. Though I think Roman Gonzalez beat him, I get it. Uh, let me see. Facili Lomachenko, not I don't have Facili Lomachenko over Jamel Charlo. Where is Jamel Charlo? Where is Jamel Charlo? If you're going to have Javante take Davis, I think Jamel Charlo should be there. All right? He's a fight away from undisputed. His damn self. Hit the Tyson Bell. All right? Uh, I think Jamel Charlo is over Javante take Davis. Um, and I think he's over Facili Lomachenko. All right? Um, Facili Lomachenko is a better boxer, but I think Jamel Charlo has been doing more. I think so. OK, but that's OK. That's where I that's where we disagree. I, I, there's no right list. All right. Uh, that's what I said. I would, too. OK, hit the Tyson Bell. All right. Uh, and that's the Grinch. Two sugars. It's a bias list. Um, you know, the funny thing about that is I don't know, because George Cambosis, if it was so biased, I would think he'd be higher. Uh, all because they said themselves, ESPN said that uh, Teofimo Lopez was undisputed. So now there's an issue when I look at this list. Okay, Tyson Fury being so high, I, I see what I see what you mean. There's a lot of there's a lot of top ranked guys that's ranked extremely high. I get what you're saying. It's Tyson Bell. I get what you're saying. Uh, please watch Inoue and then or back on the list. Yeah, Inoue is is really is really the man. Um. So I, I just want to, I'm going to stop sharing that. I just want you guys to see that and see my take on it. Not a bad list whatsoever. Not a bad list. I appreciate Fury being there. I appreciate Javante Tank Davis being there. I like that they gave George Cambosis his love uh, for being there. I, I like that. Um, Josh Taylor. I think Josh Taylor is probably higher. See, if you're an undisputed guy holding multiple belts, you're automatically there for me. Uh, case in point, though, I think Clarissa Shields should be there. The fact that Vasily Lomachenko was there, but not Clarissa Shields. But once again, pound for pound, I guess, mean men. Um, and then there's a the women pound for pound. If they if they want it that way, if that's how they feel, they should put men's pound for pound, I think. Let me see. Victor has defeated you. Oh, yes, I wonder. <laughs> Why would you shoot him on before throwing up for the uh, Biz, Bob uh, hand wrote the... <laughs> Yeah, Bob wrote that in and sent it in. Like, here go y'all list. <laughs> they said, okay. Um, Estrada definitely should be higher uh, than Tank. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you guys go with, I mean, officially Estrada won. So, yes, yes, okay. Um, my personal feelings should not be over. I think Roman Gonzalez deserves the nine. But I think Hagler beat Sugar Ray Leonard. So, who the hell am I? Okay, I think Castillo beat Floyd Mayweather. Who the hell am I? I think Triple G beat Canelo Alvarez the first fight. Who the hell am I? All right. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, 
One Canelo, two Usyk, three Bud, four Carissa, five Arrow, six Tank. Ooh, that's pretty high. Seven Inoue. Ooh, that's pretty low. Taylor, Cambosis, Charlo. You know what, Sadate? I don't even agree with your list all the way, but that's better. That's better than top rank stuff. Hit the Tyson Bell. In my, I mean ESPN. In my opinion, that's better than ESPN's. All right. Um, I think Inoue. I, I think people have be disrespecting Inoue a bit for me, but Arrow and Tank. Uh, Arrow is. I'm, I'm fine. Tank is a high to me uh he knew he's too low but that that's better i mean if, look if y'all don't agree with Sadate's list that's fine okay but that's better than espn's list to me to me taylor's too low okay but still okay that, all right we'll rearrange a few little things but we can all come up with a pound for pound but that's better that's better all right and this guy doesn't have a platform he doesn't have and that's better. All right. Here's the Tyson Bell. I mean, well, that's closer to what I would have, I can see. All right. <laughs> and I think everybody else is feeling the same way. Uh, tank pound for pound with, uh, yeah. No, nah, that's worse. Oh, okay. Well, I feel it's better. If a new A moves up, uh, I could have them him higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I tell you, he's not stuck. He, uh, he can, he can. All right. I'm the same way. I feel the same way as I, uh, as I, as I, as I take. <laughs> Here's the Tyson Bell. I mean, I never stuck. Oh, okay, well, uh, don't, 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 you know, put get your panty, your panties in a bunch. And plus, that's just his opinion. All right. Uh, yeah, Ioka. Yeah, I know Ioka is another one. All right, enough. I get you. I Ioka could, is I, look. Ioka deserves to be there, maybe as much as Tank. All right, hit the Tyson pill. Okay, so look, uh, arrows too high. Yeah. All right, we can go all day. Okay. Um, so anybody want y'all ready to, for the breakdown? Let's break down better BF, um, uh, versus, um, you feel me, uh, for division champ. Let's break down better BF versus Marcus Brown. And let me ask you guys, can you guys hear the videos when I play them? Cause I can't hear. I just want to make sure of that before I do, uh, what I have to do. And plus, I don't even think I, um, I loaded them in. Hold on. Let me see. No, I didn't. Hold on. Let me get this together. Let me get this together. I wonder if you can actually load things up. Um, I can't. I can't even hear. I can't even hear. We good, biz. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning, War Room. Everybody. Yeah. Make sure you hit the like button. Let's get more people in here. We almost got three hundred people in here. Hit the Tyson Bell. All right. And I know um, the topic isn't a hot topic. But this is a boxing community, and it's necessary. Um, Better BF versus Marcus Brown is a necessary video to do right now. We always uh, promote the fight that's coming up this weekend. We always do that. This fight is actually tomorrow, and I will be calling the fight my live stream commentary. So we got to do what's right for boxing, not just what's sexy. Okay, hits Tyson Bell. Uh, we ready? All right. So let me let me look at this. Let me get let me get all this right. It's, it's everything is still uploading. Uh, let me see what you have to say. Uh, play that Varnell Hill. You're right. And, and sh everybody, shout out to the Varnell Hill of boxing. That's me. Bring my lips with a laugh and do the cabbage patch. She's a pretty lady and then signs them all the grabs. The Varnell man can shut boing boing. I can't even hear it and it still cracks me up. <laughs> uh, uh, speed beats power on this one. Okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. So this is what I want you guys uh, to, to first uh, check out. So Chad Dawson, do you guys remember when Bad Chad Dawson um, was on this channel, when I interviewed Bad Chad Dawson? How many of you guys remember that? If you, if you don't remember, it's a fantastic interview. Everybody, make sure you go by my channel. Search for, for Chad Dawson. Okay, it'll, it'll pop right up. Skill wise, I want to put Shakur on there. Shaboy, oh yeah, I know. If you want to do a skill list, that's a totally different list. Now facilities on there. Now Shakur on there. Um, my man, yeah, absolutely. Now, um, when I had Chad Dawson on here, Chad Dawson spoke about sparring better BF. And Chad Dawson, excellent interview. Thank you so much. And Chad Dawson said something that was. That was extremely interesting. I, I'm not going to be able to hear it, but I, I do get the gist of what he said. Um, check this out. I actually sparred with him. You sparred with who? With, uh, better BF? BF? Yeah. 
Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah, hold on. How, how did that go? And I sparred with him. I was there for about, I think I was there for four weeks. Man, that dude's strong, man. Unbelievably strong. You mean punch and power or just physically strong? Physically, punch and power, he's strong. Wow. How about his technique? Technique? Mm, nah, not technique, not that great. He's a rough fighter. He's strong. He's physically strong. And he's rough. Huh? Hit the Tyson Bell. You guys hear what he said? You hear what he said? Chad Dawson said his technique, not so good. He's a strong, rough fighter. Strong, rough fighter. I'm like, oh, okay. How about his technique? His technique, not so good. And I sat there and I said, well, why did he say that? He's rough. His technique, not so good. I said, why did he should know? Okay. He should know more than I do. I haven't been in the in the in the ring with with better BF. He should know more than I do. Okay. So I checked out better BF and I said, well, in his fight with Marcus Brown, how will it go? Let me look at better BF. Check him out. So here's better BF. Rough fighter. Bam. Rough fighter. You want to see it again? This guy is a rough man. Look at him. Rough. Now, now this is against Colum Johnson. But his technique, not so good. Technique, not so good. Look at him. Why? Bam. His defense, not tight. Dropped by who? Colum Johnson. Huh? Huh? Let's see it again. Let's look at this again. Now, this is against Jeff Page. Rough fighter. Rough fighter. Look at him. Beating the hell out of him. Rough as nails. Rough as nails. Beating the hell out of him. All right, hit him in the back of the head, everything. Okay? But technique. Boop, not so good. Hit the Tyson Bell. Technique, not so good. Dropped by who? Jeff Page. All right? Now, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm like, well, he has a weak guard. Absolutely right. But look, things cleaned up. This is why I was confused. Now his punches are straighter against Adam Deans. Look, look at his guard. Now it's higher. This is his last fight. Yeah, good jab. Now he's swimming without getting wet. Jab, then another jab. Jab. And then he, he makes him miss his jab. Guard, guard is higher. He's walking him down with a higher guard. Lead right hand. Oh, all of a sudden. Bam. Okay. Now he's dropping people differently. Lead right hand. Good block. Elbows tight. Good uppercut. Boom. And he wears him out again. So hold on. Started off. This is why I said, hold on. Chad Dawson, I was a bit confused. Because I see a guy with good technique. That's why I said, how about his technique? He says, technique not so good. When Chad Dawson sparred him in Canada, his technique wasn't so good, okay? When I look at him now, his technique is better, not great. Punching power is still there. Savagery is still there. Rough, tough, yeah, but less wild, all right? He has made improvements, but Chad Dawson was absolutely right. Rough fighter. Technique not so good. Hold on. Strong arm. Flex on him. This is my strong arm. See? 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 Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Everybody, hit the Tyson Bell. Uh, thank you so much, Kendall. You the man, bro. You the man, bro. Uh, let me see. The, and that is exactly why I said I, I always had Canelo Alvarez beating him. Uh, Victor has to feel, oh, yes, I wonder. <laughs> why would you shoot him out before throwing him from the bar? This, he's a bigger roly uh, with the fruit flops. Yeah, he, <laughs> he throw the fruit flops. <laughs> he throws the fruit flops. Uh, thank you so much, James West and Tyson Bell. Great vision, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Hold on. Uh, he used to be wilder. Now he's improving like AJ. Yeah, there's a better bit, better BF 2.0 going on. Thank you so much, Luis. Uh, I have better winning by late start stoppage. Well, he's knocked everybody he's faced out. Okay. Um, but let's look at let's look at better BF again. Let's look at let's look at his technique, not so good again. And let's look at the improvements one last time. Right? The rough at fighter. That Chad was talking about rough, tough, strong fighter. And you're seeing all of that. You're seeing every bit of it right here. Okay. And you see it again, but bam, dropped because his defense was not tight. Better BF 1.0 was a rough, tough fighter. Technique not so good. Okay. Let's look at better BF 1.0. Beating the hell out of Jeff Page, okay? Knocking him all around the room. And, of course, all these guys. 
they went nighty night. All right, look at that punch right there. Wild man, wild man. But look at this defense, not so good. Bam. Uh oh. Who the hell is Jeff Page? It's it's letting you know better BF doesn't have the best chin in the world. That didn't even land on the butt. Bam. And there he goes. All right. But look at the difference. Look at the difference. The punches are straighter now. And he's bringing the punches back to block now. When he throws his punches, they come back home now. They don't. He doesn't overcommit. Look at him. Swim without getting wet. Head movement. Good footwork. Good jab. Now, the results are still the same. He's knocking people out still. He knocked out Dean's still. But look at how he's doing it now. Okay? More long-term success now. He can have success now. Look at that. He can have success, the same success he had, still the knockout artist, but technique is cleaner, and that works for him in the long run. Hit the Tyson Bell. Let me see. Um, uh, Bear paws lacking tiger uh, precision, mm, but sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. Good point. Sometimes that shit works. Uh, Ask Mayorga. Uh, you should do sparring session uh, interviews with active, active fighters. You are... Uh, the voice. I mean, only you are the only voice on YouTube that would make this interesting. Ha! <laughs> Thank you so much, and Tyson Bells. Now look, uh, that you think uh technique is overpower. Um, technique is always overpower, but he's putting it all together now. Okay. Now let's look at Marcus Brown. Okay. Let's look at Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown, he out the southpaw, great precision. Boom, boom. Look at that combination dropping them. But what did y'all see? Let me show you what I saw, okay? Combination wide punches. Boom. What did y'all see? Huh? Bam. That's what I saw. My man was a little off target. Why? When Marcus Brown throws his combinations, he throws them with his arms low. What did that lead to? Boop. Leads to that. <laughs> In the combination, he throws his punches wide, okay? Bam. And guess what? Bambi legs. That was against uh, uh, Pascal. Bam! Again! Wide punches, arms low when he throws his punches wide in the exchange. What happened? <laughs> right on his ass. Now, he got Bambi legs. Look at him. He's all over the place. And he's smiling. But it ain't funny. Let me tell you why it ain't funny. This is why it's not funny. You're smiling, but it ain't funny. Okay? And he tackled Pascal. That's the fight that he lost. So Marcus Brown, good offense, good hands. Once again, not the best technique. I know he's an Olympian. Hands down in the exchange. Hands down, man down. You see that, Danny? Hands down, man down. Okay? Let's look at it again. Let's look at now. Let's let's look at let's look at Marcus Brown again. Look at, let's look at his success, but look at where the, his success gets him. All right, brings him to Pascal, who is not that much different than better BF himself, okay? Now, look at this. Look at his success. Good hands, good heavy hands. You saw Steve Willis there. Look at that. But, like I said, even when he was hurting this man, I said, uh-oh, don't just look at the results. Look at how he got there. And you say, oh, this is going to be his demise later. Right hand down. Chin up in the damn air, okay? And where did that take him? Bam! <laughs> Here. When you fight a better fighter, a good fighter, a great fighter, he's going to punch during exchange, but he has better muscle memory, better timing, better technique. He'll knock you out on accident. <laughs> right? Hands low. Look at him. He wants to hurt you more than he wants to protect himself. Okay, and that is going to be a demise. Look at me punching the floor. Oh, oh shit! Hey, I think this is funny. This is not a problem. Where, well, well, where's your legs? Your legs all over the place. You're trying to take out mine. Okay. So look, look, listen. You got that right, Tiz. Now, the question is, will there be a two point? For Marcus Brown. Will there be a 2.0 for Marcus Brown? Could be. You want to know? <laughs> Guess who's in this corner? Who's in this corner? 
Who's in this corner? Let me see. Word is bond, my man. Word is bond. Your analysis helped me to improve my box, and thanks so much. And in general, you helped me to be a better young man, bro. Much love to you, Word is bond. Uh, to share the light real quick. Here's a Tyson Bell. Thank you. We love you, boy. I, I want to say this, Word is bond. Uh, your comments are so mature. I actually, I didn't know you were young. I had no idea. I thought you were around my age. Your comments are always very wise. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, let me see. I thought that. Uh, was Zab Judah for a quick second? Yeah, you did, didn't you? You did. Now look, Jesus Christ and James. Derek to the James. One of the best trainers in there who I think has deserved, should be should have been trainer of the year for a while now. I don't know what's in my eye, but it's killing me. My eye's probably in my eye. Uh, Boxing uh, Logics United. Uh, uh, get got dropped twice. Uh, with the same Bob, then right hand cross. Same Bob, then right hand cross. Better BF style, okay? Look, look. I think Derrick James deserved uh, trainer of the year. Uh, there, there's, you know, he has unified top world to weight, number one world to weight in the world. Uh, he has number one junior middleweight in the world, okay? Lineal champion junior. You feel what I'm saying? Um, Derrick James is nothing to sneeze at. Um getting him in the corner uh, for this, for Marcus Brown. It should help him. But like we all know, muscle memory takes a while. Derrick James isn't a magician, okay? I'm going to tell you something about this fight. Hit the Tyson Bear. Reynoso, though, biz. Right. Reynoso is trainer of the year now. I said one of those years. Just one of those years. Um, I'm not saying, okay, remember when Nash was getting all the MVPs. Kobe probably should have won one of those years. Okay? Reynoso, I don't think he should win every year. Derrick James deserved it one of those years. At some point, he deserves it. Okay? But with that said, um, just like what happened uh, with our guy, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, probably needed some more fights in there before Tyson Fury. Okay? But we'll see. We'll see. Better be if he has made his improvements over time, okay? More time than Marcus Brown. This was Marcus Brown last fight. He didn't do anything last year, okay? Hit the Tyson Bell. All right? He didn't do anything last year, okay? Uh, I think Better BF had COVID. I think he had COVID, something like that, or an injury. Was it COVID? I think it was COVID. But he he fought Adams after COVID. So that was his COVID fight, okay? Um. So let's talk about this. My prediction of the fight. I think it's going to be offense versus offense. Marcus Brown's offense, mwah, but it's not married to a good defense. That defense be cheating. <laughs> that defense steps out. He's mar his marriage to his defense. His offense marriage to the defense is toxic as hell. As you all can see, that marriage is toxic as hell. That defense go cheating. That that defense, uh, uh, you know, go to strip clubs, everything. <laughs> okay? Um, everybody, everybody, if you can, hit the like and give it up for the uh, Varnell Hill. Come on, live with a laugh and do the cabinet patch. Kiss a pretty lady and then sign some autographs to Varnell Manton. Boing, boing. <laughs> And, and for everybody who has already subscribed. To me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Show the Angela Bassett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, 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 this is what, this is what, uh, Marcus Brown's offense be saying to us. Get your shit. Get your shit. And get out. <laughs> that marriage is toxic as hell. With that said, it's going to be offense versus offense. Both of them dynamic offense, okay? Better BF defense has improved. It has gotten better. His marriage is a little bit better. Still rocky as hell, but a little bit better, okay? Um, I'm going to go with better BF here, all right? When you got somebody with 100% knockout rate ratio and unified top of the division, you know, it, it, it adds things to you. When you think, when you... 
of course I'm great. It's hard to knock out a great fighter because they believe they're great. Okay. Like I said, uh, your chin is also mental. I've said that forever. All right. Um, my prediction, prediction, pain. I think better BF is successful. I'm not sure if better BF knocks out Marcus Brown, but if, when you look at the Pascal fight, <laughs> Pascal was walking him down, hitting him with wild shots, timed his shots, stuff like that. Um, I'm not better. BF may just be slightly better than Pascal. Um, I got better BF here. Uh, BF, since talking about trainers, you should do a top ten of all time boxing trainer. That that would be actually that won't be that hard. That probably won't be because I thought of five right off the bat. Uh, God bless you. Uh, you're great for the sport. Thank you so much, man. Back to you. Uh, let me see, Jackie. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Thank you so much. I need that. You got to understand. I need those $2, Jack. Jack, I need that three. Hit the Tyson there. I need that, like, now, because I'll be heading out to, to do something in a few in a few minutes. All right, so, look, Brown got more experience. Uh, does he? Um, you have to um, – yeah, yeah, I think he, he probably does, though um, better BF has a better resume. All right? Hit the Tyson there. So look, slightly better resume. Um, still, with all of Marcus Brown's experience, it kept him here. <laughs> okay? So what we're talking about is styles. It kept him here. The experience did not lead him to do better. Okay? It led him here. Okay? Hit the Tyson Bell. All right? Don't look at the amount of fights. Like Deontay Wilder. He has a ton of fights, but it kept him here. Okay? Hit the Tyson Bell. Um, so what type of experience is the question? Now, look, let's move on um, real quick to Deontay the Bronze Barmer Wilder. Should Deontay Wilder retire? Let me ask you guys. Yes or no? Should Deontay Wilder retire? Turn pro late. Yeah, I was going to say that about better BF, uh, his amateur bouts. Um, that's how they're kind of doing it over there. When you look at Vasily Lomachenko, you look at better BF. Um, you look at uh, Sergei Dervachenko. You look at uh, Alexander Usyk, how they kind of turn turn on late. No, no, no. If he wants to, that's probably the best answer if he wants. Uh, yes, yes. Wilder, good either way. Um, he's good either way, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you what I think. Hell no. I'm with you. It's up to him at the end of the day. As a Wilder fan, no, I don't think he, I don't want him to. How about that? The reason why is because I have questions. I do. I have questions. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I have questions, okay? My question is this. Every, when you think of knockout artists, when you think of people who have knocked out a lot of people, okay? You always ask, well, who did they knock out? What made George Foreman such a great knockout artist is who he knocked out. Okay, Ken Norton, Frazier, I mean, okay? Hit the tight, Brian Lyle. Who has he knocked out? Who has he stopped? And I think he stopped some guys. I think uh, Ariola Ortiz, he stopped some guys, okay? Um, But at the same time, once he turned up, his level of opposition to an all-time fighter like Tyson Fury. He didn't stop him. On the contrary, he was stopped twice. So my question is, my question is, yeah, Michael Moore, my question is this. Was it just Tyson Fury or just the level of competition the level of opposition. That's just enough to beat Wilder. The question I have is, is it just Fury or a fighters? And I think that's a not natural, a natural question you should have. Even if you are a Wilder fanboy or fangirl, okay? I think you should ask yourself that. Unless you're just so far off his ass and just whatever he does, it's amazing. I, I I go crazy. He makes me warm and cozy. If you're that, then 
you know, I can't talk to you. We can't have a conversation. But even if you are a fanboy, fangirl of Wilder, I still think you should ask yourself, well, how would he do against AJ? How would he do against Andy Ruiz? How would he do against Usyk? I, I think there's questions. Is it just Fury stylistically, or is it that Fury is an all-timer? He can't knock out all time. How well, how vulnerable does he look against all timers? Because that's the point. Everybody looks great until they turn up the, the competition. When they when they pump up the volume. <laughs> Everybody looks fantastic until you pump up the volume. Right? Well, how good was Sugar Ray Leonard? Mm, fought Wilfred, but oh, okay. Tommy Hart, oh, Duran, okay. Hagler, okay. I got you. My bad. How good was Roy Jones? He's knocking everybody out. Got power in both hands. Okay. Bernard Hopkins. Oh, my James Tony. Okay. Knock out Virgil Hill with a body shot. My bad. Right. Mike McCullum. My, I'm sorry. I apologize. Hit the Tyson nails. Right. How good Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, Yakoto. You know what I mean? Just, oh, uh, okay. Diego Corrales. My bad. All right. Hit the Tyson nails. Um, we could go on and on because I just thought of so many right now. With that said, I want to know. Uh, Victor asked if he, oh, yes, I wonder. <laughs> Why would you shoot a man before throwing him from the play? Be as I on uh, care uh, if he retires um, or not. I'm a KO Biz on ESP. No fanboy. Wilder is great for the sport. It's fun to see him knock people out. Top 10 or not, the man is exciting to watch. Who wouldn't want that? Yeah, but I just want to know. You know, I don't, I don't want... Wilder to go back to just knock it out. Who? Uh, Mike McCullum was washed. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Mike McCullum was older. Yes, that's right. But he still fought him for the WBC interim title. Mike McCullum was still in the conversation. If Mike McCullum would have beaten him, he would have fought for the WBC title. Hit the Tyson Bell. He would have fought Montel Griffin for the WBC title. Mike McCullum was still in contention. Right? Um, so you want to know, right? Remember when Eric Morales fought Danny Swift Garcia, that first fight is like, well, damn, how good is he? You know, um, you always throw a up and coming fighter against an older experienced fighter. It happens all the time, all the time, right? Hit the Tyson Bell. If you don't know, don't know that you just got to watch more boxing. It happens all the time. That's how you get Javante Tank Davis versus Gamboa, right? Or Devin Haney versus Gamboa. It happens all the time. You know, you know uh, 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 Trevor Burbick, Larry Holmes versus Ali. You always get the younger person versus the older guy. So I add him to that mix to see, oh, how good is he? Oh, okay. I get it. Hit the Tyson Bell. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, don't do a Fanuk and uh, hit the like. Yeah, everybody, please hit the like. I think I think this this uh, live stream deserves a like. Uh, those shots he hit Fury with only two hundred seventy six nine Fury survived those. Okay, but I wonder can he even land those shots against Anusik? The question is, hey man, the shot that he hit Berman Stavern with, he should knock out. I don't know Tyson Fury with hit the Tyson there. But the the question is, does a great fighter take that away from him? Ortiz was, was whooping his ass, both fights. He just got caught nice. So, okay, if you're a younger fighter and you're a very talented fighter, do you make a miss? He don't get the opportunity to land those shots. If Ortiz was prime Ortiz, does he go 12 and just smoke him? It's Tyson Bale. Does he go 12 and just beat him on the scorecards, especially that second fight? You know what I mean? If you feel that there's no question in Wilder, no matter what, if he throws a right hand, he's my guy. He knocks everybody. That's your guessing. I'm guessing. I want to know for sure. I want to know for sure. I don't want to guess and be satisfied with my guesses. I want to know for sure. Uh, let me see. Um, and regardless of how educated your guesses are, I want to know for sure. If Wilder retires now, it, get, it may give Fury more credit than he deserves. Uh, I think he gets... The credit already. I think he get. Yeah, I think he gets the credit already. Um, a new member. Bye, 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 bye. Hit the Tyson Bell. Thank you so much. Uh, Floyd versus Canelo. Canelo. What about it? What the hell? Y'all still talking? Uh, man, I saw Brazil. Uh, rock Wilder. I did too. And and look, here here's my thing. Um, 
real quick about Canelo and Floyd Mayweather. Let's stop. <laughs> we can talk about how great Floyd is. We can talk about how great Canelo is. I have no problem with that. But let's stop Floyd and Canelo because I can see right through everybody who's doing that. I can see right through Floyd. I can see right through you, right? It was just Floyd Pacquiao. You couldn't mention Pacquiao without mentioning Floyd. We don't even hear that anymore. Why? Because Pacquiao is no longer relevant. And everybody still holds on to Floyd. That's my baby. So everybody who's relevant, I'm going to say Floyd. When Canelo's gone and another young fighter, Floyd versus that young fighter. Stop. Stop. There's other guys to ball ride. You can ball ride Tank. Ball ride somebody else. <laughs> Let's try somebody. Canelo fans. Yeah, geez. All right. Um, for the community. Hit the Tyson Bell. Thank you so much. Uh, let me see. Facts. Uh huh. Uh, for the community. Thank you so much. All right. So look. Um, y'all best not duck me, son. So look. Let's move on. Let's move on to Arrow the True Spence real quick. Um, damn, we may go the hour. I made that video yesterday. Um, getting a lot of comments. People have an issue when I said, and people don't, people don't pay attention all the way. People have an issue with two things. One, when I say Arrow, when I say Arrow Spence. <laughs> When I said Errol Spence ran out the stadium like he had to take a piss. <laughs> oh, how, oh, how? Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Believe, believe, believe. <laughs> when I said that Errol Spence ran out the stadium like he had to take a piss, people got a problem with that. Don't. It's funny. Two, people have a problem with me saying Errol Spence should take a tune up. And I and I said a tune up like this. And I don't think people know what that means. I literally said a tune up. <laughs> people, people don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. And immediately following that, I said, it just anyone right under Terrence Crawford. When I get the comments, huh? Ugas isn't a tune up. Well, I said tune up. Huh? I mentioned boots. I mentioned Ortiz. Huh? Okay. Boost is in the tune-up. Ortiz. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't do it better than... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what up, showbiz? What's going on with you? Wilder, in my opinion, will always go down in history as a great uh, KO fighter. Oh, yeah. Uh, hope he uh, still have a few good fights in it. Yeah, you always be considered that because it's hard to knock people out. It is. Have you ever knocked a man out? It's not hard. It's not It's not easy. Uh, let me see. Uh, Sully, a uh, the season, Vernell Hill is, uh, I mean, also Inoue, uh, got a win on Tuesday. You might have to make a video. I'm sorry. I may just have to, uh, for if he's a top banter. <laughs> uh, that, uh, that duck talk biz. That's duck talk. Okay, Philly. So now this is the debate. We can debate this. It should be a debate, okay? <laughs> Errol Spence taking a <laughs> fighting boots or tees 
or Ugas, them the only one that I the only ones that I will allow. <laughs> Those are the only ones. If you don't fight Boots, Ugas, or Ortiz, I I that's a duck move. I, I'm not messing with it. it. It's it's one of these, okay? To me, if he fights Boots Ennis, you're not ducking Crawford. For me. For me. If you fight Ortiz, you're not ducking. You're not a, a scared fighter ducking Crawford. But maybe I have more respect for those fighters than you do. If you fight Ugas to unify three titles, you're not ducking Crawford. At that point, you're going to make sure your last fight is undisputed. To me, to me, hit the Tyson Bell. Now, y'all may think Boonus is, I mean, Boots is weak. Boonus, I'm going to call him Boonus. <laughs> Boots. Y'all may think Boonus is weak. I don't. So I'm going to speak for myself. For you, Boots suck. Not a good fighter. For me, Errol Spence versus Boots is amazing. Ortiz, for you, he sucks. Not a good fighter. To me, Ortiz is amazing. So I'm only going to speak for myself. Spence versus Ortiz, fantastic fight. Ugas, super WBA champion. Errol Spence won in Pacquiao. Now, instead, he's going to fight the guy who beats him. Super WBA, unified three titles. Ugas is a problem. He was his mandatory before. For me, that's a good fight, especially to prepare you for Terrence Crawford. Ugas is not a bad fighter. He's a very good fighter. To me, you think he sucks, all right? No, Boots got hands. No, 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 no. People saying that's a duck move if he fights Boots. So they think Boots suck. That's okay. They don't watch enough boxing. They don't know who Boots is. They have no idea. That's okay. Ugas, same thing. So I want to say this. Tears. Boonus is a hell of a fighter. Yeah. Hit Tyson Bell. So I want to say this. For everybody who's who hates Boots saying that Errol Spence fighting Boots is a duck move, hates Ortiz, and hates Ugas, and say fighting those guys are duck moves. Okay? I have another argument. I have another argument. Victor asked, oh, yes, I wonder why you should have had before throwing him for the plot. Hit the Tyson Bell. Uh, his mama call him Boonus. I'm going to call him Boonus. Everybody, everybody, give it to my man. Right? Everything is welcome to fix me. Um, sounds like a boy from Kentucky. Listen. So since everybody don't, don't respect Boots or Teeth or Ugas, I, I have a second argument. Okay. Terrence Bud Crawford would not get the respect he deserves if he beats Errol Spence right now. Huh? Let put that in your pipe and smoke it. Huh? And that's the Grinch. Two sugars. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Y'all Crawford fans will be arguing for Crawford to get his respect for the next 50 years. Let him beat Errol Spence right now. The Errol Spence that came from a car accident and only fought once since. Let him, let Terrence Crawford beat that man. Y'all Terrence Crawford fans will be sitting there pissed. And how much you guys got to defend him and ask people to give him his credit. Y'all want to rush it. <sighs> right? I would love if that fight happens tomorrow. I'm all over it. Popcorn, chips. I'm, I'm all over it. Oh, yes. I would love to fight. But I'm saying you know what's coming. You know what's coming. You know if Terrence Crawford whooped that ass, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. So I'm going to go, officially, I'm going to go out on the whim and say this. Y'all know what's coming, Pauls. <laughs> I'm going to go out on a limb and say this. To make things all right with the world. Ho, ho, ho. Arrow the True Spence should fight Ugas, Ortiz, 
or Ennis next. He gets past one of them, fight Terrence Crawford immediately after that. No excuses. Best Errol Spence versus the best Terrence Crawford. Whatever ring rust he got on his shoulders, he got him off. The best Errol Spence versus the best Terrence Crawford. And if Boots or Ortiz or Ugas beat Errol Spence, you didn't want to see Crawford versus Spence anyway. Shit, I would want to see whoever beats Errol Spence versus Crawford at that point. I would still like to see Crawford versus Errol Spence, but more than that, the guy who beat him versus Errol versus Crawford. Depending on, I'll be like, Errol Spence ain't what he used to be. Thank you for the truth. Pun. Hit the Tyson Bell. He got to fight Virgil. He doesn't have to fight Virgil. He fight Ugas is, makes more sense. Okay? Me machine. No. I don't want Errol Spence versus anybody other than Ortiz, Crawford, Boots, or Ugas. He is that he doesn't have that kind of time. Listen, let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. And I said it in my video. People don't listen all the way. I'm and I'm going, so I'm going to repeat this. And there's only 500 people in here, so I'm going to have to repeat many times. Uh, if Spence can fight Boots, Ortiz, or Ugas, he can fight Bud. The fact that people don't want Bud next, that means they already have Bud at the top. Listen, Bud is above Ugas, Ortiz, and Boots. It ain't, it ain't the same party. Fighting Ugas isn't fighting Bud. You can bet your sweet ass on that. Fighting Boots isn't fighting Bud. Fighting Ortiz isn't fighting Bud. Hell no. You fighting a great fighter, but you ain't fighting Bud. Mm -mm. No, that's not the same thing. Now, you may think they're on the same level. It's not. You got to be in shit sharp shape. Hit the Tyson Bell. Super sharp to beat Crawford. You got to be nice, nice. You can't just be an arrow that can beat Ortiz. Hey, this arrow can beat Ortiz. So he's ready for Bud. Get the hell out of here. Even when he beat Danny Garcia, you're like, he's not all the way right. Look, I want, I want to say this. I want to say this, too. Who wins the fight on Saturday, Parker or Del Boy? Shh, I, I, I think Parker's a better boxer. Probably Parker. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Um, the reason why I am not accepting Errol Spence fighting anyone outside of Crawford, Boots Ennis, Ortiz, or Ugas is because after he flipped over in a Ferrari five times, he fought Danny Garcia and ran away with it. He just outboxed him for 12. So, <laughs> after a partial retinal tear, I'm expecting you to be able to fight Boots, Ortiz, Ugas, or Crawford. But I want to see the very Best, most sharp Errol Spence versus Crawford. Because you got to be. Because that Crawford that fought Showtime Sean Porter, I don't, that guy is hard to beat. I don't know if anybody. Now, Boots who beat Delorme, nice. But Crawford beating Porter, that, and, and stopping him, that's tough. That, no one stopped Porter. So that, that's, that's rough. That guy can fight. Okay. I want Errol Spence to be, as an Errol Spence fan, I want Errol Spence to be the very best Errol Spence for that guy. I do. Now, if he fights him next, that just shows Errol Spence is crazy. I always thought he was crazy anyway. Okay? And go ahead. Do you. I don't do. Do you. I would love it. I mean, popcorn watching it. Get your ass whipped. That's good ass whipping. Go ahead, Terrence Crawford. Do your thing. Okay? But just know what's coming after that. Hit the Tyson Bell. All right? So, what say you? Everybody who's calling it a duck move and stuff like that, that's my argument, all right? Uh, Crawford needs to fight Ugas, uh, get the second belt. Yeah, yeah. But see, that means Crawford has to sign a deal with the PBC. If Crawford signs a deal with the PBC, everything happens. 
The PBC, it doesn't matter. The PBC is like, we got Crawford, we got Spence. Both of them are boys. We're going to make this a hell of a fight. Crawford, fight Ugas. Two belts, two belts. It's up to Crawford. If I was Crawford, though, I wouldn't sign a long deal, uh, long-term deal with anybody. Like Roy Jones Jr. said on uh, Seconds Out, be your own man. I wouldn't sign a long-term deal with nobody. Hell no. But but at the same time, I do want to say this, and this is how I'm going to end this, this uh, podcast this morning. I, I, if you are a fantastic fighter, I think you should be your own man anyway. Okay? So let me round this out. I think Javante Tank Davis should leave Floyd. But I understand if he doesn't. Because that is hard to do. Every fighter looks up to Floyd Mayweather. Every young fighter looks up to Floyd. You get the opportunity to be with Floyd. You can't buy that. You can't buy the little things he teaches you. You can't buy that. Okay? But my thing is, as a man, Tank Davis is now 27. I, he's not a boy anymore. I think he's learned everything. Everything now, Floyd is just repeating to him. And that's good, too. It's rep- I do it with my son. There's stuff that I've, there's not, not too much new stuff I tell my son. I just keep grooming him and keep repeating, okay? But Tank Davis is 27 damn years old. There's certain things that he just got to learn on his own. Hit the Tyson bit. Can't bubble wrap him and save him from everything. Now, I do get Javante not leaving Floyd. That is, like I said, it's hard to do. You, that's, that's like if Floyd had Sugar Ray Leonard. It'd be like, damn, that's hard to just leave Sugar Ray Leonard. If, he, if Sugar Ray Leonard had him from the beginning, it's, that's tough. But Floyd Mayweather is such an alpha. He would have left Sugar Ray Leonard. Floyd Mayweather is such an alpha. If he had Muhammad Ali, he'll leave him. At 27, 30, he'll leave him. Roy Jones, if he had Muhammad Ali, if he had Sugar Ray Robinson, Roy Jones leaving. Eventually. Because there's stuff that I want to do with my own vision. So I, 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 it's not that I think Tank should beef with Floyd, should hate Floyd, none of those things. Right now, bro, it's time for you and your future and how you see things. Who is Tank? I want to know. Who is? Who are you? How do you move? Now, Floyd doesn't. Floyd can still be in your life and still coach you a bit, but dictate your moves. Now, 27, 28 years old. All right, I'm about to fly the coop. It's only natural. It's only natural. All right. Oh, uh, let me see. Bud might be a tune-up for Boots. <laughs> I know Bud is a champ of champs, but that Boots guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't hating. I ain't hating. <laughs> I, I don't agree, but I ain't hating. <laughs> Boots is a problem. Uh, you should be your own man no matter the industry. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. Uh, freedom is independence. You can't, you can't buy it. You can't buy it. Or freedom is worth more than everything. Money, everything. Jay Cooley, uh, no war room without me. Remember, silence speaks volumes. Laugh now, cry later. Yeah. Um, and and I'm going to say this too. Um, um, laugh now, cry later. I am man enough to pull back on Arrow because Arrow showed himself throwing hands. Throwing hands to me trumps everything. Th- throwing hands shut me up quick. And I love being shut up when somebody's throwing hands. Oh, my God. Nah, 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 nah. Shut up, please. Oh, speaking of which, follow me on Twitter. Go to Biz or Don't Twitter. Uh, I'm going to retweet what I did. Uh, we have a giveaway on, you know, how to get to the bag. So go for the Jake Paul fight. Follow me on Twitter for the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley fight. I got to the bag. I'll show you guys how to get to the bag. Uh, follow me on Twitter. That's Biz or Don't. Uh, you'll see it uh, scrolling at the bottom. Um. When you're throwing your hands, I saw your giveaway. Okay, much love. When you're throwing your hands, please, that, that, that shuts me up quick. But at the same time, I do like Terrence Crawford talking that, right? Talking that ish. Why? Because people say that Terrence Crawford too boring anyway. So which one do you want? 
And like I said, I didn't like Terrence Crawford. Oh, the fight's not going to happen. I don't need him. Don't talk to me about Spence. I don't like that. Because that's your legacy, and we all want to hear what you have to say about Spence. I want Spence back. You, you let me know. I want him, damn it. That's right. Let, let us know. At the end of the day, you did everything you could. You got the belt from Jeff, Jeff Horn. They asked you to get the belt. You did that. Oh, you got to beat um, a, 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 a real welterweight that is a problem. Kell Brook, not enough. Sean Porter. Oh, he got top rank. Goodbye. You're not talking about Spence. Called him out. I'm, I'm out in, the, in Lake Minnetonka. Calling him out. He did everything. So he didn't leave any, any stone unturned. Uh, let me see. Victor has all oh, yes, I wonder. <laughs> Why were you shooting about? Before throwing up blah, blah, blah. Hold the hell on, Jay Cooley. Been a beautiful uh female uh this whole time. Funny. Funny, bro. Funny. Okay, okay. So um let me know what you all you all think. Uh Jay Cooley been a beautiful female the whole time. Uh, Jay Cooley's a dude. Right? What are y'all talking about? Oh, that that picture? Dude, Jay Cooley said, "Dude, don't even, don't, 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 don't mess with me like that. You blow, don't. That would, that would ruin my brain." Oh, uh, thank you so much, Sully. Hit the title. That, that would throw me all the way off. Show biz, but don't. Tomorrow is Facts Friday, but tomorrow we will be calling the Better BF fight. Uh, I think I'll be doing a podcast earlier that day, but I'm definitely calling the Better BF versus Marcus Brown fight. I want to see. How my prediction, how my breakdown, how my analysis, my film study holds up. It's been holding up well uh, thus far. Okay. I'm out. Huh. Oh, my goodness.